Hey, what's going on everybody? Dave here, and I wanted to give a big shout out to EK Hobbies. Um, they sent this out to me, and I've had it for about two weeks now. Um, and it isn't that I have been lazy with it, it's that I wanted to actually do a proper review on it. Um, so I definitely want to give a big shout out to them. Thank you for sending this out to me to review. Um, I'm very stoked uh, to have this in my collection and I can't wait to get the rest of them. Um, so what we have here today is the Gangster's Kingdom um, Spade 5. And you can kind of see if I get a reflection on there. Um, you get this uh, kind of palm frond uh, decor on the box. You get the V for the 5, which is right there. And if you guys can see it, uh, you get the spade logo with his face and uh, the five emblem in the ear. Down here, also in the silver, you get the Gangster's Kingdom, We All Go to Hell, See You in Hell, and the Damn Toys. Um, on this side, you get the same thing with his uh, little tattoo emblem right here. The back, you get a nice... Um, foil of him holding the sniper rifle him wearing his jacket and you can see um, the the patches on his jacket and then um, you get some skulls over here the um, the parody masks uh, right there and then the damn toys uh, 2004 damn toys limited all rights reserved www.damntoys.com uh, number GK007 one six scale collectible figure made in China now this is uh, one of the magnetic boxes which I am really liking that they're doing on the slip cover on the inside you have the gangsters kingdom you get his playing card which is of course the five of spades um, chapter four the war began um, I will actually do a snapshot of this with the comic um, which will be at the end uh, so that you guys can read this and read the comic um, and yes it did come with uh, the comic book on the inside we pulled this out now if I hadn't already messed with it you would get um, the comic book here you get a foam pullout, the body, um, and I'm trying to think of what was in here. Uh, there's one of the accessories and then the phone uh, in here. Oh, the beanie was in here and then the phone was underneath it. Underneath that, you have where all the other accessories were. Uh, you get the bag, the sniper rifle, pistol, uh, sunglasses, uh, the two pins, um, hands the poncho and I can't remember what was in there I think it was the headset uh, was in there so guys um, give me a couple seconds we will cut from this and I will get him uh, stood up for you alright guys so as you can see I have him all stood up I have him on a generic uh, uh, figure stand or crotch grabber and uh, this guy is awesome um, I have the this is the backside of the front of the box so you can use that for a display piece if you uh, so choose to um, it's up to you I think it will fit in a detolf but I am not for sure it will not fit into the cabinets that I use for my figures and that is okay um, this is pretty much how he comes straight out of the box you can see he has uh, drawstring toggles down here at the bottom of the jacket. Um, the jacket just looks freaking phenomenal. Now we will get into that uh, when I break down the figure and we go over everything in details along with accessories and so forth. Now I can see straight out of the box I do have some pull up um, of one of the, the patches. And let me do this real quick. We'll just start off kind of here we'll start off at the top now this is uh, um, I think this is supposed to be portraying Jude Law um, we'll give you a quick run around as so 
the faux fur on the jacket is very awesome um, I think I might have to just dampen that a little bit just so it will um, kind of come loose it's kind of wanting it keeps going back into the shape that was in the box um, but that is a very cool jacket uh, you can see um, or I think you guys can see it's got like a, a um, crocodile type uh, like elbow pads or like the motorcycle jackets have um, you can see he's got the the bridges patch uh, his the spade five patch um, you got zips you got pockets uh, you guys got all kinds of things you guys can see what I'm talking about right there and I think that's just because of the way the jacket um, is sitting and I'm going to drag out the tacky glue now if you guys aren't familiar with what tacky glue is you can get it at most of your craft and hobby stores and it is a fabric glue um, once it's cured unlike um, like a super glue or CA glue it does not become stiff it actually it becomes pliable and part of the fabric so for you one six scale customizers out there um, you guys definitely can end up getting that and using that that also can be used um, for doing like your cuff rollovers on pants and stuff like that without having to hand stitch them uh, comes in very handy now panning down a little bit here you can see on the jacket I just kinda have his arms bowed out a little bit I still have to adjust all his joints and everything um, and you do have to do that when they come straight out of the the package um, because sometimes the legs and the arms um, are a little twisted and especially the shoulder joints from them putting on the clothing and everything now one thing that I did end up noticing is um, I guess with the jacket on because it is fully tailored and it does have elastic down here at the cuffs which is very nice because that completely hides the joint the downside that is putting on the jacket will push up the sleeves um, of the shirt and kind of cause bunching up so um, a trick that you can end up doing is just taking a paper clip and um, through the cuff of your shirts on your figures you can just kind of it doesn't have to be a paper clip uh, it can be something else but just hook it through through the just kind of gently work it through the fabric uh, it should go through and then um, a loop down through of course your hand or your wrists are going to be off uh, and then when you're pulling the jacket up you can kind of pull down the shirt and uh, that will keep the sleeves down on the arms um, let's see here so panning down a little bit further we've got the pants which are in a fire style um, camo uh, a lot of pockets very nicely detailed you have pleats here in the front of the knees so that when you get him into a crouching pose or so forth that um, they will kind of conform to the legs and give it some give it some room um, he does come with the um, caterpillar slash timberland style boots um, they are really well done um, you've got little what looks like latches for the laces everything else my only gripe is that they are too clean and shiny and I will be hitting those with some matte and flat um, overcoat just to uh, kind of give them a more natural leather look and not straight out of the box so I hope you like the review so far um, stick around we're going to go over all the, the accessories and uh, all the goodies and everything and then we will do a final wrap up so I will be right back alright guys so in this section we're going to actually go over some of the accessories and we're actually going to start off with the coolest part which is going to be his sniper rifle um, as you guys can see it actually says down here uh, it Knights Manufacturing uh, Tetsville I can't if I get that close I'm going to smack my head on the camera um, but this thing is actually really fantastic you have actual measurements on the dials here uh, both the top and the bottom now um, I found some stuff out just fiddling with it that uh, which is how you end up seeing it broken down like this um, that I didn't see in a lot of uh, other reviews not that there's a lot um, 
and one of those being that it does break down like this and I have not fidgeted with it I haven't forced anything it's actually made to be, be broken down um, now if you know a lot of the actual damn toys figures um, that are not gangsters kingdom they're military so they're I am not I'm actually not surprised by this but I was surprised that they ended up doing um, this kind of detail and stuff for uh, for this guy so here you have the base rifle um, and his uh, the silencer can be taken off both the front and the back scope caps can be taken off the foregrip can be taken off um, the clip and the rifle butt can be made to be adjustable um, but when it's all, it is all together like so um, the chamber uh, which is a um, you know a flap here can be uh, removed or not removed but it can be opened there's a slide here that you can see for the round chambering you do want to be cautious sliding it back and forth here that you don't scrape the the paint but it does open up which I think is a really great um, detail uh, I have to say you know I am completely impressed with the gangsters kingdom figures um, especially with the accessories the clothing everything else they have just gone all out uh, and each one gets better and better um, now I posted uh, for some of you guys up on uh, one six uh, views and reviews um, just so you know they got first peek at it. Um, you actually have a mirrored lens on the front of the scope the back side of the scope if you can see it and one of the cool things that I ended up finding by accident and let me can I get close enough zoom 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 uh, I have it upside down there it actually has um, like velocity and distance measurements on the inside of the cap which I thought was an awesome um, kind of like a Easter egg uh, you know because you're not really supposed to find it um, so let's put everything back together this slides on just like this now you'll see there's a notch here and a matching one on the other side and sorry I have you guys zoomed in as much as this will go without having the camera right on top of it this piece there are two little peg holes and it's just going to slide down and you just want to pop it in so there is with the silencer on for the clip it does have shells in it just slides in now for the foregrip you can either leave the feet out or it comes automatic with these slid in it is a tight fit but they do do go in there this will just slide on like so this part slides on pretty easy For the butt, and I don't think this piece actually does anything. Um, I notice it comes out, but it doesn't. It doesn't appear to do anything. But you can adjust the stock, whether you, uh, depending on how you have him posed, if you want it out a little bit more so it'll sit uh, into his shoulder there are details for the slide down here or you can do it stock just like it comes out of the package just like so there are um, slots in here so that you can attach a, a strap if you want which I think uh, I'm not sure where I put it um, you can probably take one of the straps from the bags 
You've got your scope cover on the front there, scope cover on the back, and there is that. Now getting into the other accessories, and I've pretty much stripped them down. So you do have the pistol, which is in a nice uh, desert sand color, and the top, um, the slide is actually in a like a pearlescent uh, cream color, uh, which is kind of interesting. And uh, I'm trying to say, I'm pretty sure it slides, but the mechanism, I'm trying to see here. The mechanism doesn't appear to move, not like some of the other pistols, but it is really nice. Uh, let's see, it says made in Austria. So, and it doesn't appear to have any hammer kickback. And then you've got an extended mag that goes into it. Just like so. Get, getting that out of the way. Now for the sleeves of his jacket, you get a red and blue pin. And I'm assuming these are for uh, marking coordinates and stuff on, on his map. Um, I have to say for scale, these are very well done. You get his little iPhone um, 5, 4 or 5, I'm not sure which one. I think it's supposed to look like iPhone, which is what it does look like. You got Sugar calling him uh, on her mobile. It is just a sticker that's on there. And then you got his symbol on the other side of the phone. Um, with the five in there moving on to the next accessory you have his Oakley style uh, well not Oakley style they are Oakley sunglasses you get a nice rose tint in there they are well done and I think it fits the figure very well some of the others I haven't been keen on the sunglasses that come with um, but I I actually like those Moving on to your other accessories you have the ear pieces here It does have an adjustable wire for behind um, Behind the head uh, Says all tech on them they do swivel a little bit on the wire. My only fear is like wiggling it too much. They would end up coming off. Um, but yeah, so that's his headset, Bluetooth headset. Now going over his hands, one thing that I do like about all the Gangster's Kingdom is that they actually come with pegs on each of the hands. So you don't have to worry about it. All right, so let's get you guys a little more in focus here. So on this hand, we have the tattoo there. Cross on the index finger. Just kind of give you guys an all around look. So there's that one. That's on the right hand, left hand is uh, probably more for grab, uh, grabbing the um, the foregrip but you can hold the phone with it but no tattoos or anything on there uh, another left hand same pose a little bit tighter though if you wanted to be brave I think you probably could split the fingers but I'm not going to bother does actually have the tag on there very nice detail on the gloves Another left hand, um, I'm assuming this one's probably for holding the phone or holding uh, maybe the bag, something like that. The good detail on there, I'm just kind of overlooking everything. And then your other one, you have a gloved trigger hand. Um, now the index finger is kind of pliable on there, so that part's good. You don't want it too tight, but good stuff with that. 
and last is your Jack Wolfskin beanie um, it does appear to be nice and tight uh, and it is kind of a elastic -y material I do like that all right get all this stuff out of the way da, 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 da. all right we need to zoom out a little bit for right now all right for the jacket um, uh, why, uh, all I can say is wow now um, I have had some peel up on the corner over here of this one uh, it does it does appear to be like a double sided sticky uh, that is on there if it does continue to peel like that I will uh, take a little um, tacky glue for fabric and just tack that down uh, drawstring in the the neck piece here uh, if I tug on it is that what it feels like I'm trying to see it feels like it's in the in the in the collar along here um, it does ha replicate a uh, metal toggle on there uh, no working zips here but you do have these nice um, pull tabs on here for cold weather you're wearing your gloves um, you have a pocket up here, which I'm assuming you can probably stick his phone in. And then these two little pockets right here, which are for his pins. You do get working pocket right here. And working pocket right here on the side. This does pull up, but it doesn't pull up all the way. So you get pockets there. You get interior pockets, which are working. You get the Spade 5XL um, tag. Um, this I need to kind of fluff like leave out because it's still kind of matted down from being in the packaging um, but the, the the faux fur is very nice the inside of the hood you have another kind of faux fur uh, it's very nice very soft now I don't know about other countries but jackets like this are expensive as hell and I can't afford one so I will just continue to drool over this. I wish I was smaller and could wear it. Um, you do get the same pocket here and here. You do get toggles down here. And a drawstring across the bottom of the jacket. You do get, it is fully lined all the way through the sleeves. Now bringing back up. You get, uh, was it guaranteed... What's I say? Guaranteed Letty Booty, uh, shot one kill, uh, spade is what that tag says. You got a British em emblem there. You've got the Spade 5 um, logo there. Uh, you've got the heartbeat over here. Going over, you do have this kind of rubberized material that's on the elbows, much like a motor ja uh, motorcycle jacket would be, where you can imagine, um, you know, you'd end up getting more wear from maybe leaning on stuff or propping on your elbows or things like that. Um, you do also get that same fabric up across the hood here, along with a latch to be able to cinch it down um, if you wanted to adjust it to pull back the hood a little bit on his head. So that is the jacket. Now for like the monster of the package. You get this giant bag that comes with him. There is some weathering on here. It only appears to be on these corners right here though. Um, you do get working zips on the ends. There is mesh pocket here. You get a zip pocket on the front here. You get another zip pocket here. You get, uh, I'm trying to see, another zip pocket here. And it also looks like a Velcro thing where you could Velcro things um, to it right here. So that part's kind of interesting. I'm assuming this is so he can stash his rifle. 
you get that which comes off which is for the handle here they have done weathering on the buckles which are workable you get three of those across the top across the top you get four zips let's see if I can this is my first time of opening this so it does open up like so there is a like hard shell casing that is in here I'm not sure why they put this foam but there is like a hard shell casing in here so that it will keep its form and not collapse um, but he can store a lot more than his uh, than his rifle in here as a matter of fact you could probably stick his jacket the poncho uh, a sleeping bag a dead body uh, whatever you want in here um, because this will hold a lot um, so this is a great accessory for him um, and then let's see I'm going to cut so I can rearrange and go over um, both his clothing and articulation and the poncho because uh, it's going to take up a little bit of space so I'll be right back all right guys so after a background change and laying some things out we're going to go over starting from the base up um, now you have your typical uh, this is just the standard uh, damn toys body um, you know you do get some articulation though you, it'll rotate this way but it doesn't want to rotate that way I think that's kind of weird um, you get the you get the uh, ball joint or double ball joint for the neck now one of the things I've, I've noticed with um, pretty much every one of these that I've ended up opening you do have to kind of feel around for where the bicep area is where your joints are and you do kind of have to um, readjust these because usually like one shoulder is all like slumpy down things like that now these bodies are really um, posable uh, I almost wish they had the thigh cut off for the the twist I mean you can get it but it's really tight you you almost have to take off the pants and do it a few times to kind of loosen it up enough that it will do it but it will you get a double bend knee you get the leg extensions with the the ball joint for the ankles you do get pivot at the waist and this is that rubbery material so you don't really have to worry about your pants slacking um, now let me bring you guys in see if I'll put so you guys can see the um, tattoo here it says every center has a future and then on this arm a soldier has to ex uh, to execute a command without question um, no I like those they don't really look like tattoos unfortunately they're a little too typed out um, I do like the the design that's on there though but those are just personal issues so that is the body and we will get that out of the way looking at the head the head is very nice um, I believe it's based off of Jude Law I think that's what everybody else has determined on there uh, really nice sculpt very fine mold line uh, across the uh, the head hardly noticeable uh, the paint app is fantastic on this um, very subtle for the character um, you got a faint like five o'clock shadow going on um, some pinkness in the cheeks like he's out in the weather or been out in the weather and then his eyes are really well done so so we will bring that up so la, da, da. so you guys can see that so there's the eyes just give you a nice rotate around of the head so very cool stuff with that
so that is our head and I'm going to go ahead and pop that back on so that does kind of extend up his neck so you can see on there so you do get rotation in there you do kind of want to be careful how rough that you end up getting because you're you're going to end up scuffing up this bottom edge just against um, the the shoulder pieces here and it does kind of look goofy without any clothing on all right next uh, bit of clothing is going to be the boots now these are caterpillar timberland style boots um, very well done tread is nice there is some weathering on them um, I think the insides are a little bright but uh, my only issue from all the pictures that I've seen and with these is they are for being uh, being used they are too clean so I am thinking um, of just hitting them with some um, matte varnish um, I think what I'd end up doing is like some semi gloss up here and then some uh, matte flat uh, across the boots just to give them some worn uh, worn look and not so brand new out of the box but there are both of your shoes for his pants by the way I think I am probably one of the only reviewers that will tear a kit apart just to show you guys from the face up um, it's not necessary but it's actually something that I enjoy doing because I like seeing how it's put together now one of the nice things that you will see is in the knees here they're actually like pleats so that will help with your uh, movement you do have um, they almost look like uh, they would hold ammo so maybe it's um, I'm not familiar but maybe it's for while he's in scoping position um, you know he can keep a shell in each one and you know grab it if you're single firing um, I don't know now for the side pockets um, I think they are functional they appear to be functional but you they're sewn shut on this edge so you can't end up using them but they are there and this is in a, um, a I would call it a fiery Timberland style um, camo um, I actually really like it there is no back pockets it's just a faux back pocket you do have le leather tabs on those um, and then these you just have a tab up here so it's actually a double uh, double back pocket and uh, it is uh, does appear to be though I could be wrong um, almost like actual pants would be a double double layer in the crotch section does have a velcro for the fly you do get a faux leather belt with a metal buckle and uh, the actual sp spin tab that is on there moving on to his last accessory and I I think at some point I'm probably going to steam this um, to try and shrink it down a little bit um, I think it's a little too baggy on him um, but this is the shirt that comes on him you have the tab down here which would be probably your branding tag um, the faux leather which if this is faux leather it's really nice like it feels like kid leather um, you get the two-tone you get the dark green with the light green piping both for the zip and for the el uh, for the shoulders it does also have that fabric for the elbows and I really like the fact that they put this much detail into something that when he's got his coat and everything else on you're never going to see but it's there it's also a great option if you're wanting to do some bashing and get an optional head from something uh, like say the devgru head um, or something like that and make your own custom um, you can swap out some stuff like that that's what I did with my uh, uh, what was it the Saxon I took the head off and I put it on a extra body that I had for a uh, Bruce Wayne uh, it was just kind of a cheap suit or so forth 
so I actually have that head on uh, with and like a blue 70s style suit um, but it's kind of cool um, but yeah very well done working zip there is some weathering on the zip and by weathering I mean like paint flaking um, or pull off like it's been used it's not a brand new brand new shirt which I really like it is kind of tapered down here at the bottom of the sleeve so it does actually try and stay down alright guys so last but not least in in this kind of clothing accessories we've already gone over the jacket but and this is the poncho and let me and I have to say this is a great accessory um, you get that crocodile um, alligator texture or a shininess to it with the camouflage pattern um, you get a faux, po faux pocket here it you know like a real poncho would have but it doesn't go all the way through you do get a zip up the front so it is easy to once he's got his jacket whatever else on you can actually slide this right over him just like so and then zip it up to where at whatever point that you want one of the great features that this has where you know some of the or not some all the hot toys pretty much do not have is uh, in this it is a heavy like cotton almost um, canvas type material and there is actually wiring piped all the way through it uh, even in the hood down to this point to where it will actually sit natural um, on you know on your character and it is a a great feature you will be able to pose pose this on him any way that you see fit um, so a great accessory on this um, and just to recap on you know because this is kind of a clothing section you do get the beanie cap the jack wolf skin beanie cap which I I really like um, I don't know if I'll end up using that or not uh, you do get the the parka um, I think one thing that I forgot to mention in the other is um, the tab that is with on here does have um, like a leather bit I actually think it might be leather it is glued it's probably full leather um, but I remember seeing um, the reviewer Kings and his was actually like untied or undone uh, mine is actually appears to be solidly glued uh, for that so that's nice that I don't have to worry about losing that um, it does have elastic tabs on the front here that will go over the buttons individual buttons that are up on here um, which are actually sewn on not glued take a clue hot toys um, yeah, I can't tell you how many you know figures that I have that they have those things but they're just you they'll, they'll fall off because they're just glued on um, so anyway so there's that so um, uh, stick around and we will uh, get this guy all back together and do a final shot alright guys so I wanted to give you a quick overview before I get him fully dressed back up and uh, with just the basics on him well kind of the basics I don't know if I'm going to keep the beanie on him or not uh, probably not because I actually like him without it um, and I'm not really afraid of it staining the head um, but I don't know I just I, I prefer it without it so this is what he looks like with the beanie on um, I would suggest probably zipping it up about halfway just to cover up that neck joint but you can see elbow pads when everything is in position um, are pretty much where they're supposed to be the elbows are right there you can see pants are all buckled up and you can see his boots on him now the boots um, go up to where that ankle extension is um, it does hinder a little bit but not a whole lot as far as movement so you're still going to be able to get some good poses out of him um, so that's it on that part when we come back he'll be fully dressed up and ready to rock and roll all right guys so here we are with one of the final poses for this review um, I actually just drug out one of my old um, display pieces 
this is a, an old piece of ironwood um, that I've had laying around. It used to be in a fish tank, believe it or not, and um, the the stuff that was on it just never came off and has pretty much petrified to it. And I love it because it works great for display. Um, but here we have, um, you know, Spade Five. Uh, Baron just kind of chilling. He's been out in the woods. He's taking a break. Uh, just popping a squat, getting ready to. Uh, I don't. I have a feeling he's not hunting rabbits today. Um, as you can see, I have his backpack on him. Um, and uh, well, it's the carry bag, but it does uh, fit on him over his shoulders and everything like a backpack. I have the poncho all folded up and uh, in its carrying place on the side of it. And this is the side view of it. So there's one in a, just a casual fit. Um, I, I love everything about this figure. Uh, okay, so I will be back in just a second. We're going to get this, uh, get this guy reposed up. Hey guys, so here we are with our final shot, and uh, I think this is kind of epic right here. So I have him uh, with the poncho on and everything, and uh, I'll actually drag you guys out a little bit. So you can see, got the wind kind of whipping him around. You can see I've got, the, this thing It just makes it completely dynamic. Um, got the wind whipping it around between the legs around the legs off to the back he's found his target head all cocked down ready to take his shot um, yeah this this thing is completely awesome guys um, I would say for the value definitely um, go and get it and uh, I think this is probably going to be my uh, uh, my new uh, icon for <laughs> Facebook for a while um, so definitely I want to thank uh, EK Hobbies for sending this over to review. Uh, it's been a great review to do, a little bit long for you guys, but uh, I had a blast and trust me it was longer for me. Um, definitely check them out, go over, pick it up. Uh, they have it on pre-order. It might be even be available now. Um, they might have gotten them in, but definitely check them out. Pick this up, add it to your collection. Um, it'd be a great addition and uh, you know for anybody that says well they're they're less than hot toys they can't be as good find me a hot toys that can do this um, and come with all this stuff and be this price point um, again thank you guys uh, for sending this out thank you for tuning in and watching uh, my review on this um, there are plenty of other reviewers out there and uh, you know, I appreciate every one of you guys that actually uh, clicks the like button and uh, subscribes if you like it. I will talk to you guys all later in the next video. Everyone have a great one. Peace out.